Hello, my crafty friends. Well, I'm going to do two, maybe three pages um, today. We'll see how it goes. We're going to do a page of white. We're going to do a handprint and a band-aid. And we're going to do cord and a zentangle if, um, if I decide the video is not going too long. Or if I have time. <laughs> Both of those things. We're going to start with the page of white. And... Um, we're going to do it on this page. It's not white. The page isn't white, but it's as close to white as I have in this book. And I think the fact that it's not white will actually make things show up a little bit better. So that, that might be a good thing that it's not white. So um, I've got this off of some mixed media paper. And we're going to just start with that. I, I just decided to do, you know, all textured -y type things, so. Um, so we're going to put this in first. This kind of shows the edge of our page. And then I've got this piece, and I think I want to take that, um, the tag off of it. If I can do it easily, and it looks like it'll come off pretty easy. There we go. 100% cotton, it says. Lynn's brand made in China. So we're going to put that on there. And I also have an angel. And we're going to put her on here. We could put her either way. I actually think she goes like this. And then I've got um, some of this trim. Which is very cute. And I may let that just stick up a little bit. I think that'd be cute. Then we can fit this in here. And let's go ahead and trim that right there. Have a piece I can use on something else. And then we can put the angel underneath here. Um... We might can frame her. Let's do that. All right. Let's just go ahead and put, put that down here, and we'll put her down next, and then we'll. Uh, well, let's do this. Go ahead and do this one, and um, I'm just gonna. do this because I don't think it's any messier than trying to put the glue all over the um, all over the doily. Couldn't think of the word for a minute. Okay. And we will glue her down next. Same thing. We're just going to, I'm just going to glue her down and then I'll come back and glue down the pieces that are not wanting to lay down good. And right here. Okay. There's that. And then we're just going to put this piece on here. So I'm just going to run my bead of glue 
all the way across here like this. There's our page of white. Let's see. Well, come on. There we go. I like it. Okay, let me grab a piece of parchment paper to stick under there because I don't want this to stick to this page while I'm working on the other one. Okay, and this is page 49. I'm going to go ahead and write it in here. And um, page of white is prompt number 56. We put it on page 49. All right. Oh, whoops. And so what page was I going to use? I think it was this one. Or these pages for the next two prompts. And one is hand and band-aid. And we're going to do that first. And it says hand print. It's very specific about that. Hand print. So I'm going to paint my hand and make a print. And we're going to see if that works very well or not. Um, and I'm, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use copper because I think it'll show up on here. <laughs> I have never purposefully put paint all over my hand before. I'm not sure how well this is even going to print off. Okay, so there's my hand print. And I didn't get any paint right there. So we'll just add a little bit. Now then, I'm going to pause the video if I can get my button without inking it, painting it all up. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right there. Be right back. Okay. Now then, I have a couple of scars on my hand right here and right here. Right there. So I'm going to draw those on here. Like that. This one I actually had stitches. <laughs> That's the only time I've ever had stitches on anything except when I had a C-section. But um, both of these scars were done using a dull knife trying to separate hamburger patties. Both of them. So <laughs> don't do that. Uh, frozen hamburger patties. Okay. Um, but Band-Aid, you know, is our... Um, our, pro our other prompt. So I've got these little band-aids. And I'm just going to stick them on those spots where those scars are. If I can get them open. It's a good thing you don't use these kind of band-aids when you're bleeding hard. Because it's really hard to get them open. Of course these are old too. So Okay. And this band-aid is not really nearly big enough to cover that scar. Um, but we're, we're going to put that one on there anyway. Um, let's see. These are, these are really old. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these round ones. Um, 
because they have this kind of opening. <laughs> if I can get it, well, if I can get them out. Okay. So we got a a round one and a square one on my two owies. <laughs> and there's that page. And there are those two prompts. So let's write them down. And um, let's see. Hand print is 54. And we're doing that on page 17, I think. Okay, come in here. Yes, page 17. Okay, 54 on page 17. And Band-Aid, which is 83 on page 17. All right. And then we're going to um, do Zentangle and String or Chord over here. And what I'm going to do is draw my Zentangle. And um, it's going to be a fairly simple one because it takes me a long time to Zentangle. And I don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing it. And I want it to be simple also because I'm going to um, trace the outlines with this chord after we get it drawn. So I'm going to have it come off the from the page there and over here and come like this. And let's do another one right through here. Okay, so that'll give me three pieces of string or cord and a bunch of little spots to zentangle. And um, I think I'm going to just do kind of some brick type things there that are not done very well and um let's see what can i do to those to make them look a little more similar we'll just outline them inside again and i'm going to go like the ones on the edge are not complete And then these three in here, I'll go all the way around. Okay. That's good. We're going to let, let that be that one. And this one, I'm going to just follow. Follow the curve. And let's see. I can't even think of Zentangles at the moment because I, I should have got out a book to look at or something. Um, we'll do some scallops.
And I'm letting the scallops get bigger as well as, um, you know, as it's filling up the space. Like they're coming towards me, maybe. I don't know. Okay, there's some scallops, and um, I'm going to go back in here and do some dots, just make it a little more interesting. Okay, that looks a little better, a little more interesting anyway, and I'm going to do this one kind of in a plaid. There we go. I like that. And I just realized I left my lid off my glue over here. It's going to be clogged up when I need it next. Okay. Now then. I'm just going to put a dot in every other one of these. And I don't know why I decided to do that, but I just wanted to. Yeah, I like that. It gives a little bit more movement to it, I guess. Um... Okay. My brain can't think. What else to do? We'll do some flowers in here. Got stuff under there that's making it not easy to draw them on.
make these bigger with just four petals <gasps> oh no okay I don't know why I changed I just did see if anybody will notice I guess and um, I'm going to fill this one with hearts Just do three little hearts right here. Okay. Zentangling can be simple because mine definitely are. <laughs> and I'm going to fill this one with circles. And I'm going to purposely make them all different sizes because I just like to look that better. Which is probably why I made the hearts all like I did them too. Okay, and do some little circles in here. There we go. And now I got this huge area over here, and I left it to last because it's the one I'm. I know the least what to do. I think I'm just going to draw lines. They're not going to be straight, but we're going to try. Okay. Oh, I really, I really want a ruler for those big long lines. I'm sorry. 
it's probably cheating it's probably cheating but um And they're probably still not going to be straight because I can't tell where my ruler goes. Okay, that way, those that go across that long, at least they look like they go together. All right. There's that. And now then, to glue my strips on, I may wish I had not decided to do this. I need a different cord. This is a twine, uh, like a jute something. I don't know what it, if it says what it is. Anyway, it does not conform well. <laughs> so let's find something that conforms a little better. I'll be right back. Okay, I found a couple of pieces of this. So that's what I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is just run a bead of glue um, The only problem with this plan, and I didn't know, I didn't think about it when I made the plan, <laughs> is that um, I was just going to run, you know, three pieces of twine or cord across those lines, but they intersect each other, which makes it a little more difficult. And I'm going to leave these um, sticking off like that until I can get until um, they dry because that'll be I'm obviously not getting a very good let's do go ahead and cut some of this so I can just leave it sitting there too. Okay. There we go. And now then a piece right here. Let's not get glue on the back or on the other page. Okay, that's a little long to have to mess with. Okay. Now this piece I can cut to fit right here and we are going to need to cut it the right length because it's going to have to go in between two pieces of other string all right so far so good and Right here. And then we've got one here and one there. So let's measure this one. OK, 
Okay. One more. Okay, let's just trim off a little bit of it. We'll trim off what's it coming off the edge of the page later. Should have left that alone. Okay. All right. There's that one. And let me go mark those down. Let's move stuff out of the way so I can get this up there. And right. And on page 16, we're using string or cord, which is 94. It's page 16. And a zentangle, which is 62. And this is page 16. All right. And I'm just going to let this sit for a while. Um, but I think it turned out pretty cute in spite of my um, imperfect zentangling. <laughs> Alrighty. God bless you all. Have a great day.